Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. In this video, I'll show you how I made the cherry blossom hairband that I wore on my wedding day. I actually wanted to make this tutorial a bit earlier, but I realized it seemed a bit strange to post about cherry blossoms in the middle of autumn or winter, so I decided to wait one whole year until it's close to my first wedding anniversary to start making videos about the wedding again. The theme of our wedding was cherry blossoms, and we even picked the dates to the end of April, which is of course cherry blossom season. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to have flowers in my hair, but the problem is real cherry blossoms are so fragile, there's no way you can use those as accessories. I also had problems finding fabric flowers because fabric cherry blossoms tend to look really fake and cheap, and that's not something I wanted to wear on my wedding day either. But luckily, there's a wonderful lady in Vienna who runs courses on how to make fake flowers using paper clay. I've linked all the details down below, so just in case you happen to live here, then I strongly recommend going to one of her events or just checking out one of her workshops. I've been going to her workshops for many years and they're so much fun, and for my hairband, I actually booked a private course where she showed me exactly how to make cherry blossoms using paper clay. As you can see, these look so incredibly realistic, especially compared to fabric flowers. And because they're made from paper clay, they're surprisingly sturdy and they don't break. Before we get started, I just want to mention that this is a fairly advanced DIY. It requires a lot of specialist crafting supplies that can only be ordered online, and I've included all the links where I got my stuff from below. I do have a much easier version of this project in this video here, so if you find everything a bit too tricky, then you can always try this one instead. However, if you like a good challenge and you want to know how to make these incredibly realistic cherry blossoms, then just keep on watching. This is floral tape, which is a special tape used for arranging flowers. It contains a light adhesive that only activates when you pull the tape apart like this. This is not the same thing as washi tape, which is made from thicker paper and it's always sticky on one side. If you really can't find any floral tape, then washi tape can work as a substitute, but bear in mind it will make the DIY a bit more difficult because it's a lot thicker and less flexible. First, we're going to start with some 24 gauge floral wire. This is a soft wire covered with paper, which makes it great for crafting. The paper gives it a rougher surface than normal wires, which allows paint, tape or pigments to stick more easily. Cut the wire into small segments, about 10 centimeters or 4 inches in length. These will be your individual cherry blossom stems. Now take these tiny flower stamens. These are actually used most often in the baking industry to create sugar flowers for cakes. To make cherry blossoms, you'll need the smallest ones tipped in yellow. Pull out 6 or 7 stamens and then cut them off like this. Then take a piece of white floral tape and use it to attach the bundle of stamens onto a wire. If it's your first time using floral tape, then you might be a bit confused because the tape itself doesn't feel sticky. You have to hold onto one end and then pull the tape apart to release the glue. While doing this, wrap the tape downwards along the wire so the stamens are firmly attached. This might take a few attempts, but you'll get the hang of it fairly quickly and then it becomes really fun to do. You can prepare as many of these as you like, depending on how many cherry blossoms you want to make. To sculpt the petals, you'll need an extremely high quality paper clay. The best brand for this is Claycraft Deco, which is specifically designed for flower making. If you've watched some of my other videos, then you might remember me doing the flower petal test on different types of clay. Based on those tests, I think that Claycraft Deco, Hearty Soft, and Banggood Paper Clay are the only three brands that work for flowers. Banggood paper clay is definitely the cheapest option since it comes in a big container that doesn't dry up after you open it. Start by making a small teardrop shape like this. Take a pair of tiny scissors and cut it into 5 sections. Then gently push the petals outwards to create your blossom. 
When you're doing this for the first time, it can be tricky to cut all five sections so they end up the same size. If you accidentally mess up, then just squish everything together and try again. It helps a lot to make the first cut slightly to the side like this. If you cut it right down the middle, then you won't end up with enough clay to give you five petals of the same size. Once you have these five sections, use a toothpick to flatten each petal against your finger like this. Use a rolling motion and try to make the petal edges as thin as possible. On the right here, you can see my Instagram story showing how Natalia from Decoflorum did it, and you can see how perfectly the petals turned out. Making clay flowers is actually an art form that takes years to master, and if you are really interested in it, then there are tons of special courses and certifications that you can take. Once you're happy with your blossom, take a small round object like a cotton bud and gently sculpt the petals. You can also twist or bend them at this stage to make the flower look even more realistic. Then snip off a tiny triangle at the end of every petal to create the cherry blossom effect. Now take the flower stem and apply a small amount of glue just below the stamens. Slide this through the center of the flower and carefully squeeze the base closed. You might find that you have too much clay at the end, in which case just pinch off any excess. And now the basic cherry blossom is done. Take a sponge and stick the flower inside to dry. This process might have seemed very time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, it's really fun and relaxing to make these flowers. The next part of this video looks slightly different because I actually filmed it over a year ago. These were the actual flowers from my wedding hairband and I'll show you how I put everything together. The best way to add color is with soft pastels since you can control the shading very well. Scrape off some pigment and gently dust this inside the cherry blossom. You don't even need any water or glue for this part. The pastel dust sticks surprisingly well to the dry clay on its own. For best results, use two different shades of pink to give the petals more depth. Next, take some red and yellow acrylic paint. Mix them together roughly and apply small dots onto the stamens. The orange color should be slightly streaky, which makes it look even more like pollen. For the finishing touch, I'm using brown pastel dust on the outer stem, followed by a transition into green. Now cut some brown floral tape down the middle so you get thin strips. Then carefully wrap these around the remaining part of the stem. You can already see how amazingly real this cherry blossom looks compared to other types of fake flowers. I decided to make some of them a darker pink than others just to have a good variation. I actually only ended up using half of these on the hairband and I used the other half to decorate our ring cushion. This is simply a cheap hairband that I got from Claire's accessories. I like the fact that it's very light and it has a velvety surface with tiny hooks on one side. This makes it a lot easier to wrap the flower stems. The important part is that the hairband and cherry blossom stems should match your hair color, so look around in shops until you find one which fits. Then simply twist and wrap the flowers until everything is attached. Cherry blossoms look best if they're arranged in slightly irregular clusters, instead of being evenly spaced out. So here's the finished hairband, and I was so happy with how it turned out. Because it's made from paper clay, it's extremely light but surprisingly strong, and that makes it perfect for things like hair accessories. As you can see, I can touch the flowers without anything happening to them. And the hairband itself was incredibly comfortable to wear, since I chose a really light one, and because the color is black, it blends perfectly into my hair.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to both channels and follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!